Welcome, folks. I am Jabby Kuwait, joined by Chara Kirk. Hi. Today, we saw the new The Batman trailer, The Bat and the Cat. Sounds like the hat and the cat. Man, that was a very, very exciting trailer. Yeah. And so I thought we would continue on with looking at some Batman-related content. Honest trailers, The Dark Knight. From Screen Junkies, thank you, Screen Junkies, for allowing us to react to this. Very, very much appreciate it. Y'all, if you haven't already subscribed to Screen Junkies, there's a link in the description below. You can click on that link, give the original an upvote. Also, subscribe here, bell icon, all notifications, and please vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Let's jump into this, here we go. Yay. Hold on, what did it Wait. say? At the very bottom, it Which said, one? please do the Dark Knight with Batman's voice the entire video. Okay. Interesting. From director Christopher Nolan. Oh my God, they're doing it. Fanboy. No, 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 no. This is the older guy. I know. Uh, I'm just saying that they're doing it in Batman's voice though, aren't they? No. That's just the way that guy sounds before they replaced him with John Bailey. <sighs> Boners from whatever he touches comes a greedy continuation of Batman. And his He's doing a Batman voice. Throat cancer. I have one rule, which is I'm not wearing hockey pants. He must have friends. Someone knows where he is. I always you thought Christian Bale's voice sounded funny the dark in this. In a city. Yeah, it's so funny to me because Christian Bale's, it's iconic, right? Yeah. Like, there's no mistaking whose voice you're making fun of if you imitate it, right? I also thought it was funny. I had my complaints about it when I first saw Batman Begins, and then people were like, well, it's in order to disguise his voice so that you don't know it's Bruce Wayne. Yeah, no, I get that. Yeah. But it's just like, I feel like that's been a thing that's been done in all the Batman movies where he's kind of had well, like a gruff voice but this is just like gruff to the next level right well you know what I mean and, well Michael Keaton lowered his register right he got quieter mm -hmm. and that was kind of scary and menacing and, and more quiet sure and so with this it's just in your face like a monstrous voice and I think that was the idea that he was going for because if you watch Batman Begins there's like some scenes that almost make it feel like a horror movie mm. in terms of like to, to let you know why the, the villains are so afraid of him to your point, I do think it sounds kind of funny. It's, and I, th I think we all collectively agree that it it's kind of a funny. little bit excessive to yeah. the point where sometimes you're like, wait, what What do you say? Hey? I didn't understand it in the theaters and I watched The Dark Knight twice. Yeah, I'm not worried, I'll give you Gotta tell forever. The Dark Knight in a city lined with an absurdly convenient number of school buses <laughs> comes a realistic new vision of the Batman saga that throws away silly bat nipples for completely unrealistic new features like the bat car cutter, the bat gun bender, <laughs> the bat armor that can withstand falls from any height but sucks against bullets. And the bat device <laughs> that inexplicably turns every Gotham City cell phone into a portable sonar reader, which downloads an infinite amount of data that's instantly transmitted wirelessly to Batman's eyes. Yeah. How is that possible? It takes me five minutes to download Angry Birds. <laughs> the more I think about that now, it actually makes a lot of sense. I'm sure the technology is out there somewhere where you could turn sonar waves into some sense of visually what, what something looks like in a room. Yeah, you know? like Daredevil. Like Daredevil, yeah. Like any, like that's just basically like a dolphin. What's the dolphin thing? Clicking. It's um, it's called echolocation. Yeah, I think bats have it too. I personally think that all the limitations of oh my cell phone's not working, oh it's not downloading fast enough. I feel like that's all artificially induced, artificial slowdowns because the ads always work on YouTube. They're always there on time, playing without a hiccup. It's, true. it's the videos you're trying to watch that always have a hiccup. It's true. So I feel like any slowdowns, any lagging or anything like that, buffering is always artificially induced. Is that possible? It takes me five minutes to download Angry Birds. A silent guardian who doesn't give a fuck about racking up millions of dollars in people's personal damages. The Joker will test Batman like never before when he places two hostages at two different locations, which for some reason means that Batman, nor anyone on call with the Gotham City Police Department, can reach them both at the same time. A film bursting with not so subtle foreshadowing. You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. That'll help you swallow Harvey's evil transformation, which is completely out of character. It's about what's fair! A hero that takes the blame for a fallen savior, for the better of the city. I killed those people. No, no, you can't. You're not. I'm whatever God the needs me to be. Wait, wait, why couldn't they just blame the Joker for all these deaths? <laughs> He's been killing people the entire movie. Vilifying Batman makes no <laughs> sense. Starring Cabbage Patch Face. Oh, Lord. Aww. Jackie. Los Poyos Hermanos. Oh, oh wow. Rusty Griswold. And I warned. Oh. Oh, Try yeah. Try that from here on out. The 
Dark Knight. I, I have wondered why Christian Bale never got rid of that thing. It's like you got all the money in the world and you keep it because it's got, it gives you character. And yeah. And you're like, so what? There's, I could be a perfectly handsome man. Like, mo- perfect. Yeah. There's movie stars out there who have jacked up teeth and they just keep it because it gives them character. Like, I can think of three off the top of my head. So, I'm not going to say who they are. Mm-hmm. But I'm just saying. Uh, who are we kidding? This movie is fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what movie you'd like to see as an honest trailer. Wow. Uh, honest trailers have certainly evolved. I think everything evolves. You know, yeah. it's 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 always interesting when you go and look at uh, old versions. videos yeah. from creators that you really like because mm-hmm. you see the evolution. You're like, oh yeah, like you figured out what works, what doesn't work, and and you just do a lot of the stuff that works. At know? the time, it was working great. It got 13.1 yeah. million views. They just got you know John Bailey who does a, a better impression. I mean, if we're being honest, honest trailers. He does a better impression of the traditional Don La. Does his name Don La Fontaine? I think that's his name. Like the in the world. world. Yeah, that yeah. guy. He does a very good impression of that voice to the point that I think John Bailey actually has done real trailers a lot. Like, Honest Trailers is just one of the many, many things he does. We have an right. interview we did with him on our um, on our live stream channel, youtube.com slash jabby live. You guys should check out. Yeah, anyway, this was fun. I mean, it was pointing out, it was more focused on a direct commentary of The Dark Knight and some of its contrivances. Yeah. But it's like, it was still, at the end though, it admits, it's fun though. It's a fun movie. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good film, yeah. But the voice. <laughs> I'm not wearing a hockey mask. You know what? I, I don't necessarily have an issue with the idea of the voice. It's yeah. that I can't, it's not, it's unintelligible. Yeah, exactly. It's like, uh, you're still in a movie though. <laughs> like, your job is to let us, the audience, know what the heck is going on. Right. You know. But that's also a Nolan thing. <laughs> Nolan doesn't give a fuck if you can hear the dialogue. <laughs> I mean, that's just been something he's been notorious for for such a long time. If you go and watch the, um, a read up on people's responses to the initial Dark Knight Rises trailer, no one could make out what Bane was saying. Nobody. Mm-hmm. And Nolan relented and gave in and had uh, Tom Hardy dub the uh, Bane tracks over again okay. so that people could understand what he was saying. There were instances where I was still like, huh? Uh, but it was certainly much more clear than the initial trailer. Sure. And then there's that epic scene in Interstellar when Michael Caine is dying and he's he's got this confession he's uttering to Jessica Chastain. Yeah. And the music hits this crazy crescendo and everyone in the theater collectively was like, ah? Like, <laughs> you couldn't understand it. And then, then the same thing happened with Tenet. It's like, I can't make out half of this shit. Yeah. Like, what are you talking about? What? This is all exposition. I, I need to know this. Why yeah. are you? Ah! I meant to go back and watch Tenet again with the subtitles. I never did. <laughs> uh, I just, I, I wasn't in inspired enough to go back and watch it again, but I heard, I was told that watching it with subtitles doesn't make the movie any better. Oh. So. Oh well. Oh well. It's not necessarily about, maybe it's even more frightening that you don't know what Batman's saying. Maybe that's what makes it even scarier. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like you're a bad guy and then Batman's talking to you and you're all like, I don't, I don't even know what's yeah. going on. <laughs> I'm just thinking back to my martial arts days when I had an instructor who was giving me an order and I'm like, I don't know what you said though. <laughs> and you're afraid to yeah. you're afraid to ask them to this repeat themselves because that's not the that's not the power dynamic in that situation. The power dynamic is they say jump, you ask how high. Only in this instance, you don't know if they said jump, duck, or roll. <laughs> you know? You're like, what do I do? I don't know. So sometimes I feel that way with you. Anyways, you guys, what? <laughs> You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I'm Jabby Coy. This is... Ajara Kirk. Peace out.